The Impact Arena is where we're at uh, today, of course, and for three weeks as we have three tournaments here in northern Bangkok. Uh, this week, of course, the second of the three is the Toyota Thailand Open. Day two of action, and this is how things have panned out on court two with uh, some great results, a couple of surprises, and uh, a good win there for Eflen Hertrick over Ponapai and Reddy. And uh, we're going to continue with more women's doubles action with Ramadanti and Sugiarto of Indonesia taking on Kiti Tarakul and Prajongjai, the seventh seeds from Thailand. And we uh, look at uh, the progress here of Eflen Hetrick having just won their match. They will play the winners of Furugar, Tigerson, Kim and Kong. And uh, the winners of this match we're going to do now will play Maglund and Raven, who uh, won Women's their match double. earlier. Siti Fadia Silva Ramadanti and Ripka Sukierto from Indonesia. Versus so the Jongkon Pankiti Trakun and Rawinda Prajongjai from Thailand. There's uh, Jongkol Pan Kitriankol and Rawinda Prajongjai. So from the Iran. Indonesians there. Siti Ramadanti is a silver medalist at the Southeast Asian Games in 2019. World junior runner-up in the championships in 2017, but an Asia junior champion in 2017. Ripka Sugiarto. Also, she won the silver as well with a partner in the Southeast Asian Games of 2019, as well as that uh, silver in the World Junior Championships. And uh, is also a former Asian Junior Champion in 2018. First meeting between these pairs. Let's do the toss. Jonkol Pan. Red or black. Come third in the Sudirman Cup, red. but twice in 2017 and 2019. Second in the Uber Cup in 2018. It's red. Bronze medalist at the Asian Games in 2018. Who is serving? They've cut the serve. Asian Team Championships uh, came third twice in 2016 and 2020. And, and multiple gold medal winner, Jonkol four of them in fact, okay. in the Good Southeast luck. Asia Games. Similar sort of record for Prajong Chai. Since they've been playing together uh, since 2013, these two. Also been very, very successful. An identical record to her partner there. As I said, they know each other very, very well. And uh, as I said, they are the seventh seed. So they will be a tough old pair to beat today for Sugiarto and Ramadanti. Ramadanti, 20 years of age, 162, and uh, 32nd in the world. Her highest was uh, 28th with Agatha Emanuela. Uh, that was uh, in October 2018. Her highest is 32 with Sugiarto in uh, 2020. Sugiarto, 160, 20 years of age from Karanganya in Indonesia, 32nd in the world, which is her best that she's ever been. Looking at the, from the Thai opponents, Jonkolpan is uh, 27, 170, so a fair bit taller than her opponents. 11th at the moment, uh, her best was sixth with her current partner, Jai. And that was in July of 2018. And uh, Robinda Prajongjai would have uh, really dearly loved to have had a crowd in. She's a local favourite from Bangkok itself. 164, the 27-year-old. And unfortunately, as I said, 
no crowds because of that COVID-19 situation. Uh, but these two played at the uh, last played at the All England. Ready to Lost play. in the round of 16 to Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young. Lost in uh, straight games. 13-21, 15-21. They've won seven BWF titles together. And of course they got to the finals last week of the women's doubles in the Yonex Thailand Open, losing to Gracia Poli and Aprani Rahayu, 15-21, 12-21. That was fairly straightforward, but yeah, they great results on the way, beating a very strong Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young along the way. That was their toughest match, in fact. They won that in three. Every other match they played was straight games. Very straightforward, all of those. And that was a one-hour, 15-minute match. And so they would dearly love to go all the way one better this time around. And they will go into this as overwhelming favourites. Sugiarto and uh, Ramadanti losing in the first round to Emile Lefel and Antran of France in straight Ladies games. 17-21, 17-21. John Kolpan, Kitty Tarakul, and Dravinda Prachongchai, Thailand. And on my left, Siti Fadia Silva Ramadanti and Ripka Sugiarto, Indonesia. Ripka Sugiarto, the Indonesian South, pair have been John together Kolpan, since 2019. They've won one title together, Lavo. Indonesia Masters, after only being together for three months. Play. Saw the uh, power there from Ramadanti. He's got quite the smash on it. So it's over. One all. I'm not sure whether she was completely ready to receive that serve. But she did well. We can see Ramadanti's got a propensity Two, to go for it. One. Right from the off, isn't she? Really play those kind of attacking shots. Oh! So it's that far oh. corner. That's well placed Two, oh. by Ramadanti. Dante and uh, Sugiarto getting to the round of 16 in the All England last year, where they lost to Lee Sohee and Shin Seung Chan. Well, you can also see it's not just Ramadanti. It's Sugiarto who's also got quite the smash on her, really giving it a, a good whack. Fantastic power from them. And that's proving to be a little bit of a handful at the moment. That's yeah, a good start, bright start from Ramadanti and Sugiarto. And that is also very well placed. Four, 
five, four. And all of a sudden the ties race ahead and build a little two-point lead here after quite a bright start from the Indonesians. They also have to just learn to get to grips with their opponents, having placed them for the first time. <laughs> from there, you know the power that Ramadanta generates. There's absolutely nothing that can be done. Hesitated, just yeah. hesitated. Oh. A second there. John Kolpan. A little warning on getting things moving. Well, the ties sending a little message there that we too so have got that power. John Kolpan. Or rather, Prachong Chai really going Seven, for it there. Six. Robin, they're also. Just generating a lot of power on that. Well, that looked close, and there was maybe a temptation to perhaps appeal, which was resisted. And now, three points clear. Oh! Seven, oh! over. Seven, nine. Over 10-7. Ah, the gentler that touch doesn't hurt as well from time to time. Eight, Sugiarto ten. mixing it up nicely there. Powerful smash and then a delicate drop. They were all expecting something else, weren't they? Is so well done. Rawinda Prachongchai. 
Look at how she's placed this. Quick snapshot almost, wasn't it? Saw the opportunity and grabbed it. And that was really well done by Rowinda. And they're going to the break, 11-8 up. ลูกขึ้นมาลูกขึ้นมาลูกขึ้นมาลูกขึ้นมาลูกขึ้นมาลูกขึ้นมาลูกขึ้นมาลูกขึ้นมาลูกขึ้นมาลูกขึ้นม
And it's of course immense Don't pride that Thailand was host to the Super 1000 tournament for the first time. And they would be a little bit disappointed, of course, they just couldn't get over the final hurdle. But they had to accept it and they had prepared well. They Stop! accepted that their opponents controlled and pressured them. 17, 10. As I said, they did very well beating the Korean pair in the semis. Nicely done there. Right. Over. And Ramadanti 11, 17. over the top. Yeah, they faced a very hard hitting Korean pair in the semis. And they said they're not, they consider themselves not to be that sort of, those sort of players. And that's why they said they have to use their skills to win and they don't play attacking in that sense. No, I have to say, they've been on the front foot a lot here. Missed the chance there, Sugiarto at the net. What 19, a huge 11. rally that was. And that's by far the longest one we've had. I would suggest perhaps on court two overall over the last two weeks. Let's see how many that was. Eventually that's got to be more than 100. We'll find out shortly, but there you go, 94, <laughs> not quite. But what a massive rally that was. And of course, you've really got to keep yourself focused over that period of time. <laughs> That's why they're having a little bit of a, a breather here. But Sugiarto should be a little bit disappointed with how that ended. Point 11. And now 
nine game points for the Thai duo. And they take it in the end pretty easily on that serve. And the Thais go into the mid-match break here. 21-11 up in the first game. Second game. So how will the Indonesians now react? How will they respond after a pretty convincing first game defeat? But I've got to say, it did take maybe a bit longer than perhaps one might expect one. for a 21-11 wow. score. They fought hard and of course there were a number of long rallies including that 94 shot one just towards the end of the first game. So it's over, one all. Plenty of power there from John Kopan. There was a power we were talking about. beginning to reassert themselves again the ties and perhaps didn't take that at the highest point there Ramadanti They'll be far happier with that. Oh, 
just inside the lines. Two. And they're playing with that confidence, aren't they? Yeah, actually, that was nicely placed, wasn't it? Six, two. Well, it was neck and neck, wasn't it, at the start of that first game here? The ties have already got a four-point lead and looking pretty good. Oh! Until, of over. course, <laughs> that happens. Three, six. there to be put away and Rowinda obliges. Web is over. Seven, three. Ah. Yeah, attack that nicely. Ah. And they are racing away again. Eight, as they did three. towards the end of that first game. So it's pretty much continuing where they left off. Good run here, aren't they, of points. And the Indonesians are not helping themselves as well. Ah. Rowinda doing well with that return. Four in a row they've got now. That's better, they need more of that. Over. This is what they were doing Four, more at the start of nine. the first game. Sugiarta and Ramadanti. Where they were combining well and really assaulting their, or besieging their opponents with a barrage of attacking shots. And they were finding it hard to cope with at the start. Another one of those Five, long rallies, but this nine. time it's Indonesians who come out on top as Rowinda puts out into the net. <laughs> 64 shots. Peanuts when you compare it to the the longest rally from the uh, first game, that was uh, 94. Nine. They restore that five-point lead. And the Indonesians have 
had this propensity to make unforced errors. That's been their undoing, really. And there's a Let fine example of that. Ramadanti Sugiyaro to have a lot of work to do as Rowinda and John Kopan go into the interval with a six-point lead. Eleven five play. Service over six eleven. Well, they're going a couple of points. This is better from the Indonesians. Can they sustain this? Serve is over. Well, seven. Well, they said they're not attacking, but that certainly very much is, isn't it? From well, John Colpan. That might have been going out anyway from Rowinda. So just to add to the frustration, and maybe we'll get a better view of it from here. Yeah, it was a tough call, wasn't it? And Sugiarto. Well, Ramadanti, excuse me, didn't want to take that chance. Well, no doubting this one. Service over. 8.13. Well, that's, that's what they need to do. That's really good play. They kept Rowinda moving around a lot. She was having to do all the work there, the leg work. And it was a nice drop in the end. From Sugiardo. Service over, 14-9. The problem that the Indonesians have is they haven't been able to get more than a couple of points in a row. They haven't been able to put a decent run on. That is well placed. Service over, 10-14.
Over. Point blank, really, 15, from uh, John Colpan. Not going to miss that opportunity from there. It's been in that slot a number of times, isn't it? Easy to put away. Well, the Tigers would be so happy with that because John Kopan was on the floor, yeah. wasn't she? Played a couple of shots and recovered superbly. Just look at this. And she was on the ground and really well played to get herself into a good position. And then they go on to win the point. And that's excellent work from the Tigers. No! Who are on a roll now. And uh, 13, strolling towards that match point, not far away. Looking very good. There you go. And our window again in that slot, 18, as I was saying. 10. They are having some longish rallies. But more often than not, it's the Thais who end up winning them. And just a couple of points away from wrapping this match up now, the ties. Ah. <laughs> right down the line. Wonderfully done by Rowinda. Match point 10. Well, that's a nice, easy way, and probably quite apt way of winning this from John Kopan. Match. When she put this John away. Kolpan, Tarakul, and, Ravinda, and they've shown the style here to show just why they've got 10. the momentum and were finalists last week in the Yonex Thailand Open. And they'll, as I said, want to go one better here at the Toyota Thailand Open. Been a very, very good performance from them. A bit of resistance from the Indonesians at times. But John Kolpan, Kiti Tarakul, and Rawinda Prajongchai beat Siti Fadia Silva Ramadanti and Ripka Sugiarto 21 11, 21 10.